Thursday, March 7th. Just showed up to the shop. We're going to find out what the guys are doing today. It looks like they're working on tracks. Mr. Perkins, Howdy. how's it going? It's fine, thank you. Yes, looks like you've put quite a bit of effort in getting this track done. Yeah. What was the most enjoyable part of it? Finishing it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, that was it. A lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. People don't realize. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Well, just think, you still got one more to go. Oh, that's the second. <laughs> oh, that's the second one. That's how quick we are. Holy shit, no fooling around. <laughs> okay. That's what I like to hear. So as uh, hey, hey. the You're apprentice, every day, you know, yeah, every yeah, day. good, good. <laughs> These that are hard to train. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as you guys are playing nice. So now that you got the second set done, uh, what was the biggest issue you found? That if somebody else is doing this, what would you warn them against? Well, I throw all my old uh, nuts and bolts away and buy new nuts, whatever they cost. Yeah, You're it's, not saving any money using the old I, You know what? It, I just, I'm blown away by guys who'll go out of their way to use some piece of shit little part just to save 10 cents. Well, it was an extra 10 hours. Well, that's what it was. Yeah. So it was. Uh, There's a difference. Yeah. You see the threads there? Yeah. See how much threads yeah. are here? Yeah. Well, we didn't tighten up. Yeah. So. Nice to have those original bombardier parts that say bombardier on them, but completely useless for today's tracks needs. Uh, why, didn't you say you had a story or something you wanted to tell? As we're putting these together, he was having a hard time lining up the bolts to the holes. So I told him, he's going home this weekend. He's going home Saturday. Mm -hmm. He gets Saturday night at home, Sunday, Sunday night at home, Monday is here. And then if we're doing any tracks, he's going to be able to hit the hole. Yeah, so he can practice hitting the the hole with uh, all weekend. Remember that, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> She's a lucky woman. Don't let her forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Why would a guy put a coarse thread nut on a fine thread bolt? I was gotta be Irish. Jesus Christ. Gotta supervise the uh, the apprentices, right? Well I'm hoping that it's looks crazy. fine thread now. <laughs> yeah, it, it is now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got quite a ways to go yet. So uh, as far as apprentices go, is he pretty handy? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for for something. Oh, I'm waiting for parts uh, from XL. Yeah. So I have to concentrate on this for now. Yeah. Because I want to get the wheels on, get this one out so I can get that one out and off of the trailer. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, it'll be motor transmission and shit like that. Yeah. And we got to clean up that table over there yet so that Dad actually has something to work on. Yeah, the steel table. The yeah. Board. And I got to have the, the crane back here somewhere. Right? Yeah, we got to set up the crane. There's a lots of clean up here we got to do to make give Dad lots of room. And so what's what are we doing with uh, the wooden bombardier here? We're just putting okay. the wheels back on? No, or? no. just the back yeah. ones. <laughs> Get the light here. Uh, this home, uh, or that other type of adjuster uh, was welded, uh, back welded here. Yeah. And we're putting on uh, the new style adjuster. It goes on like this. This is the first part. Yeah. And it has to go in here until it's flush in the end. Okay. So there's, there's some honing to do? There's a weld under here that's stopping it. Okay. So clean so that up. That's what we're going to work on. Then I'll put the other one on. Okay. This is what it looks like when the adjuster is finished. There you go. So one down. So 
moves, yeah. This moves, eh? Okay. And okay. Then, and then I'll I'll make an eye there for the rod we're waiting. Then we're gonna start putting bogies on the wheels and tracks. Okay. Have you guys inspected the bogies at all yet or? Well that one is screwed, I can tell you right now. Okay. We only need three to okay. yeah, there's a couple extras. So he's got a couple extras then. We'll see how we make those. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you you had your seven like minutes my, off. There's like your my, break for today. Your dad's like my big brother, you know. Yeah. He yells at me all day long, and then we have a drink when he yeah, goes. Yeah, there you go. Here in the good. morning, making me breakfast. So, so what would you suggest good. to other guys coming out to the shop here that uh, he's not as scary as he looks, or well, his bark's or bigger than his bite? Anyway, yeah. You know, or uh, just just keep busy and keep your head down. You bet. You better give him a call, people. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, so that's what these guys are up to today. I just came out for a quick visit. Uh, there is some parts that we're waiting on here for, for Mexcel. That would be the machine shop. And uh, But Dad, like he's mentioned yesterday, he's got uh, the panel in down here. He's going to wait to put in the rest of the stuff. He's got the, uh, the plate underneath here installed as well. The rest of the floor goes in after the motor and crash. Yeah. And so... Uh, Dad's just jumping around on between this machine and the next machine, and then but the focus is once that's got the wheels back on, Dad can get this off when he has the wheels on, and then we're gonna open up that back spot for more dedication of this. This is just a side job, and Dad's getting the heavy lifting done on uh, some of this work with uh, the apprentice because. Uh, Dad's 81. He's not going to do that when I would have had to have done it. So there's one set there. There's this other set. These belong on, on here. And uh, if you want to buy these, you can get them off of Ryan Johnson. Uh, like a full complete set. You should call him. And uh, Ryan can set you up with a number of different parts as well. But uh, going to be a lots of work here yet.